Robbie, three wins during the weekend, and what a ride on Joel's Tiger. Come on, tell us uh, the secret behind such strong hands and fitness. Well, look, um, first of all, you've got to have the horse, you know, the horse has got to be prepared right, and um, I've got to give credit to Jobier and uh, Sudesh, and, you know, the whole team at this table, they've, they've kept this horse going so well. Um, and he's a very, very gutsy horse. He's a big-hearted horse. The closer you get to another horse, the better, he, the more he will give you, you know. So that's why I turn for home and I see Declarator on the inside. So I drift a little bit towards him because I know if my horse sees him with his eyes and all that, he, he will give me more. He will fight on. He's that type of horse. And um, yes, yeah, just oh, look, I'm fit and um, you know I do the best I can. <laughs> but these young boys are not making it easy for me now, you know. They're making me work very hard. But in saying that, you know, great for the for the stable, for the team, you know, to keep the horse um, in good condition all this time. And about Mambo Rock, uh, uh, the horse made a winning return after seven weeks layoff. What was the reason behind this absence, uh, Roby? No, I think just um, mentally he was he was starting to do a few things wrong. So, you know, uh, Sudesh decided, and Jobet decided, look, we put him away a little bit, give him a break, um, make him fresh again, because he's a horse he likes to race fresh. And, um, you know, change his attitude and uh, change some equipment on him. Took the pacifier off, put the brow band on. That's that's all Sadesh, you know, is doing. So, you know, good for him. Um, you know, Sadesh always makes the right call. You know, for me, it's makes my job a lot easier. And um, I think it worked because he's a horse that, you know, he showed us what he did when he won his two races, how he finished off. And that's what he did on Saturday. So I'm very happy. And uh, Red Line Captain made it easy on 18.50. What is, what's your impression behind that performance? Oh, no, definitely a horse always improving, you know, uh, mentally getting better. He was a big baby when he started, um, but now he's just such a nice horse and he's turned into a nice horse and he's not finished there. He's, he's going to do some, some nice things in, in, in Mauritius. And, uh, yeah, just, just a very nice, very nice young horse. And, Robbie, uh, you have been working Tengen Salute regularly at track work. How did the horse pick up from the maiden and are you satisfied with his form? Yes, I am. Um, I think he, I, I, I feel he's pulled up after the maiden very, very well. Um, Chubes kept uh, and Sudesh kept him fresh again uh, because it's 1500 and then afterwards I think it's the Gold Cup for him. So um, it's going to be two good good races for him. And, and I think, you know, at this time, you know, we might try something different with him, but, you know, I've got to speak to them and, and see if they, you know, discuss it with Chubes and um, Sudesh and the owners and... Um, and see what we can do, but horse very, very well. You can see him in the morning, he still looks good. So, um, strong race, but, you know, we're in with a chance. And what about Caro's form and truck work? Yeah, Caro, look, you know, he's, he's also going to be up against some good horses, so it makes it a bit harder for him, but, you know, he's the type of horse that he can always surprise you, this horse. You know, he's got the ability, he's won, what, 10 races here in, Singa in Mauritius, and very hard to do that. So, he's got the ability, so, you know, he's a horse that could surprise you. And riding uh, shotgun deceived uh, last time. What feeling he gave you at training uh, during these past weeks? You know, he's a horse. He's he's um, he doesn't show much at the track. You know, um, but look, he, he's a horse. He's a he's a slow learning horse for me. You know, he um, he probably is just starting to settle down in Mauritius now, and um, you know he's got over his few habits of not wanting to jump and being a bit slow. And he was a bit slow last time, but. Um, you know, then he got into stride and I got in a nice position, but um, going very well, happy with him, fresh. You know, he walks off the track, um, you know, he's, 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 his eyes bright, so looking forward to riding him as well. And about Captain Spendisel, uh, definitely he has kept his shape uh, from his last run. No, he has. Um, he's been a very, very consistent horse and, you know, he's a horse, he, he doesn't give up, you know, what he's like. He's, he just tries his heart out and um, I wish, like, you know, him, Yankee captain, Giles Tiger, you know, all those all those horses, I wish we had a stable full of them, it would be so nice because they, they try so hard, you know, and they never give up. And he's still in good form. He was jumping jumping around today on the track. So, you know, the, the stable have done very, very well, extremely well to keep him in this form. And any horse uh, gave you a good feeling and we will advise our viewers to follow this week, uh, Robbie? Yeah, I think, look, um, you know, Ten gun salute was was nice, you know. I can't say much so much. You know, Caro's going well, but I don't think I'll be riding him. I'll be on the other horse. Um, the right road's going good. Um, you know, they're still all in good form. You know, um, Captain Span Diesel as well worked in this morning. Good form, feels good. Just looking forward to the end of the season, the last bit of the season, and um, 
it's going to be a good a good last last few months uh, last few meetings yeah